Hi, thank you so much for joining me for today's video. I do apologise for the sound quality. I've had a bit of a throat infection and um, lost my voice for a little time, <laughs> but it's coming back now. So today I'm documenting four photos of a trip to a local restaurant that we took um, a little while ago and we were celebrating our wedding anniversary. It was our 17th wedding, wedding anniversary. My daughter and I had had a little shop up in Warrington town and then we met the boys for lunch and it was really lovely. It's at a tapas restaurant. So I've just got four photos of our drinks and food and that's what I'm documenting. So I've printed them off um, as a six by four photo with the four photos as a collage and then cut them up. So each photo is two by three. And you can see I'm just using my brayer here to add some colour to the background. So I've gone with the colours that are in the photos, the pink of the pink um, mocktail that Amelia had and the green was meant to be from the lettuce on the charcuterie board and also the green of the champagne bottle but it does dry a lot lighter <laughs> than I anticipated but it's fine. The green I've used is made lawn and the pink was I believe saltwater taffy. You will have seen the inks there. So I'm using the new Simple Stories Vintage Essentials I love this collection. You will have seen Julie Taylor on the Hey Little Magpie blog using this this month. And she really inspired me to grab some of these pieces. So first of all, I've started with one of the um, film strip essentials from 49 and Market, which I love when I'm using one, or doing one of these vertical designs. And then I've pulled out some of the salsa tickets again from the Simple Stories um, essential. No, not Simple Stories, sorry, the 49 and Market Ticket Essentials. This is the salsa range. And I've just pulled a long strip, which goes almost the full 12 inches of the paper. Um, this piece that I'm putting down now has been cut off one of the papers from the Simple Stories collection. I love that one with all the different tapes on, and I shall be cutting those into separate strips and using them like this on my layouts. And now these are the rub-ons and they're gorgeous rub-ons, they're matte. And they just add a really nice bit of texture to your layer without having to drag out all the stamps and things. So I absolutely love those. So you can see here, I'm just bringing in my ruler um, just to check that everything's central. I have got a habit of going off center. So I wanted to make sure this time that I really did have everything where it should be. <laughs> So just getting that position there and then rubbing it down with the lollipop stick that comes in the rub ons pack. And this is going to just peek out from behind my photos, but it just adds, as I say, just that little bit of something to the layout. So I'm really pleased with how that turned out. So now I'm just going to go through the ephemera pieces and see if there's anything that I can use as a mat behind my photos. So first of all, I find this piece and then I love this little strip. Now I am going to tear some of these pieces down to size because they are a bit big, but I'm just having a look through to see what I can use. I love this faux clipboard with the bulldog clip on. So I really want to get that used as well. And like I say, I did like this ticket piece. So I'm just trying to work out where I can put that on the layout. So here I am just tearing off the top of this piece. I didn't want to lose the design, but it was definitely too large for that tiny photo up there. So now that I've got everything roughly where I want it to be, I'm going to start gluing things down. So just using my wet glue to get everything situated. And I'm sticking them to the tickets before I stick everything down onto the actual page. Just checking that I'm happy with the positioning of the photos. And again, just tearing a little bit off this piece because it was just too wide. I want to keep try and keep everything tight into that centre line so there's plenty of space on either side. So just going that film strip piece down, you can see I've already gone slightly off on an angle, so <laughs> I do need to keep an eye on that. And now just get again getting those photos situated. I want them to overlap, but I don't want to lose any of the details. And I want to show the bulldog clip, for example, on that bottom mat. So just making sure that I'm happy with the positioning and that everything is cohesive. I'm not quite there yet because I want that bottle photo to move up a little bit so that everything's joined together. There we go. So 
So now I can check that everything is going to be central. And this is a great way of doing it when you're using a vertical piece like this. Stick everything to each other, but not to the base paper. And then you can look to see how far everything moves to the left and right of the vertical line to see where it looks best on the page, rather than assuming that the largest vertical line, which in this case is that tape measure, should be on the six inch mark, because it may not be the case. If you move things more over to the left or more over to the right, it might make sense for that to be slightly further over. So just get anything stuck down like this gives you the advantage to just check that you're happy with the positioning. So just tucking in these bits that I've ripped off, you know me, I don't like any waste. So if I can use a little scraps, I will do just to add interest. So now I'm going into the foam titles from that Simple Stories collection and just using one that says Celebrate as my main title. And I'm just going to add that down the left hand side, as you see there. And then I want to put the title of the restaurant on the right hand side. So I'm going to use these alphabets from the sticker book there. Um, unfortunately, there weren't enough A's. There were only two A's on each of the alphabet sticker sheets. But luckily, <laughs> there are two alphabets that are the same, just with different colours on them. So because the restaurant's Las Ramblas, I've used uh, the black letters to put the word Ramblas and the white letters to use the to put the word Las. You'll see that in a minute. But in the meantime, you can see I stuck down the main um, photo map there. So everything is now stuck down to the base page. And I'm just situating this foam sticker to make sure that it doesn't overlap too far onto the photos, but it is cohesive and does overlap. Um, with those tails on the letter B, it made it a little bit more difficult, but it worked out really nicely. So here I am now with those stickers, as I mentioned, from the sticker book. So just going from the last letter backwards just so that it all fits nicely and in fact it does fit absolutely perfectly because the L starts at the beginning of that film strip so I'm really pleased with the way this looks. The word lass is a little bit subtle on this um, because of the white on white but you can read it it's fine. Um, in an ideal world I would have liked it all in black but I'm still happy with the overall effect. So there's that part of the title. And now I'm just having a look through these word strips to see if there's anything else I can add. And straight away, I see this one that says so many reasons to be happy. So I'm just going to map this onto some white cardstock just to give it a bit of rigidity. And then I should put that underneath the bottom left hand photo. And that just sits really nicely there. Adding a bit of foam to the left hand side just so that it sits straight and isn't lopsided because of all those layers. It's surprising how quickly they build up really. So now that one's down, I'm just going to have a look to see what else there is. And I find this one that says remember. So I'm just going to add that vertically down there just to add another layer. And then this black one says enjoy. So adding that to the bottom right hand side. So now I'm just going to check that everything's straight and then come in with my journaling. And the journaling is a lovely morning shopping with Amelia. Then Ross and James met us at Love's Ramblers for an anniversary lunch. Delicious. So now these hearts are from the um, ephemera pack. So I'm just adding those down and looking to see if there are any other foam pieces that I can add. I see this little word smile. I'm just trying to create some balance in the top left hand corner because the journaling is quite heavy in the bottom right. I just needed to build up a little bit on that top left. Now this is a die cut piece from a die that we sell at Hey Little Magpie. And um, I've just cut it, I, I die cut it in black. And you can see I've just snipped it in half there and I'm going to tuck half at the bottom right and then I'm just working out how to add some to this top left. In fact, I don't need that full piece, so I just trim a bit off and then tuck that in right at the top there. And I just love this pop of black that it brings and it kind of brings everything together with these two circular elements on there. And um, the top one being a little bit smaller and the bottom one being slightly larger. And then the little bits I've snipped off, of course, I don't want them to go to waste. So I will add those, just tucking them under the bottom left and top right as well. And you barely even see them, but they just add something to that layout there. So that's the piece at the bottom left. 
And then that little piece that you can see on my desk there to the left by my scissors is the piece I should tuck into the top right, just above that photo. I'm trying it there first, but decide that it needs to go next to the photo just there. So just trimming off the um, little extra bits that I've got on and gluing that in place. So we're all but done, just need to glue those down. They don't need a lot of adhesive, just a little bit of wet glue. Just hold them in place. So making sure that they're stuck down. And then this is one of the little hearts that we sell at Hey Little Magpie. And finally, I'm going to come in with some splatters. So I've got my coal shimmers here. I'm just going to add a little bit of water and then splatter that all around the edges in my number four brush, which creates these lovely small splatters everywhere. And that's the layout done. I really hope you've enjoyed this process video. Again, apologies for my voice. I'm hoping it will continue to improve and um, I shall see you very soon for my next layout. Thanks for joining me. Bye.